you know, wrapping up here with the company that turned you from a wrestler and a well-respected wrestler into a megastar, like a legitimate part of pop culture. Yeah. Um, it, how does, is it like bittersweet getting out of this? Uh, yeah, it's, 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 you know, I'm, uh, the whole thing about going back to Japan was, was kind of like, uh, I needed more time at home. Yes. What, what year was this? This was 93. So it, okay. if, uh, what you had told me before was that around WrestleMania nine, which had been in whatever March or April of 93, that's when the issues had started at home. And, and now you were ready to get off the, the road. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. And that, and that was, that was the deal. That was the whole. And again, I, I had this conversation with Vince. I said, you know, Vince, I, I, I don't want to go. I said, but you know, to, to save my marriage, I think this is what I need to do because I can go to Japan and I can be there a couple of weeks, but when I'm home, I'm home. Mm -hmm. I'm not just home like, you know, for a couple of days and then gone again. I'm home. I'm like, I'm home for like a month or two months and then I go back to Japan. And, um, and, and, you know, he, he totally understood that there was no issue there. So I, I didn't leave the company with any, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know, hard feelings. And how did your wife feel about you? I mean, because you're getting off the pirate ship here with with the WWF and getting yourself out of that that position. But now it's like, okay, honey, I'm packing my bags and I'm off to Japan. Like, did she have an issue with that, or was she just happy that you weren't going to be constantly on the road? Well, she yeah, she was happy that I wasn't going to be constantly on the road. At this time, you know, it's like at at, at that time, it's like now. I mean, if the WWE was then what it is now, and I was only on the road four days a week, I mean, she'd have been fine with that. But that wasn't the case then. You know, this is like, this is still when we're out going, I, I don't know. I think that, uh, that there was a point where at one point it was kind of like he would do, we would have 10 days on and three days off, and then we'd go four days on and three days off. But again, that's that's still, that's like, that six days of, uh, six days a, a month that you're you're home yes so it's not much, not much that's that's a lot to ask of a significant yeah. other especially with children at home yeah yeah um well wwf magazine acknowledged your departure saying that you left to pursue other endeavors they also claim that you lost much of your wealth due to bad investments and uh Meltzer's, <laughs> <laughs> which is just <laughs> incredible uh, Meltzer speculates that the claim was uh, paving the way for an eventual face turn if you ever decide to come back to the company. Uh, when you're leaving the company here, does Vince talk to you about, you know, uh, hey, the door is always open, like one of those type conversations? Well, I mean, yeah, and he did say, yeah, the door was always open. I knew that I could, you know, come back. Um, you know, and I, and I didn't, again, there was no, you know, there, there, were, there were no hard feelings at the time. I mean, I, I was very grateful for, for what, I mean, I mean, and like you said it, I mean, this, you know, uh, and I, uh, you know, happened to be in that era, you know, those, one of those guys between the mid eighties and mid nineties. And it's, you know, here I am, uh, Marcus and um, I'm about to turn 70 and, and they're making, they're still making new action figures. Like <laughs> I've got a new Funko pop out. I mean, I, are you kidding? I mean, uh, I don't know. I, I'm lucky, lucky to be in in that era. You certainly did something right. If you know they're still making action figures of you, you're still <laughs> doing the autograph signings. Like, man, uh, you nailed yeah. it. <laughs> yeah. So, 